friends, colleagues, students, and C++ learners. Today I'm going to show you how to format the money data to an output like console with dollar sign in the front and the comma separator. This is very easily available in .NET, but we have to jump a few hoops to do so in C++. And I'm Dr. Satish Singhal, PhD. I'm a professor of computer information technology at Rural State College in Midwest City near Oklahoma City in Oklahoma. So this time I don't have much to show in the PowerPoint. I'm going to go directly to the Xcode and show you the code. Um, basically, let's look at the Xcode now. So I'm just doing here is uh, over time calculation salary calculation program so basically I'm gonna explain this in a second it's a salary calculation program with currency formatting I ask user to enter number of hours worked that week and take input for that then I ask them their hourly pay rate and take the input for that and then if hours are less than or equal to 40, then salary will be simply straight hours multiplied by pay rate. But if hours exceed 40, then the overtime will kick in. And this is the salary at the regular pay rate for 40 hours. And over and above 40 hours, this is the overtime salary. And then I'm trying to print. So the main purpose is that two pieces of data, which is pay rate, and salary, those are money type, how to format that into money and get the comma separator and everything, okay? So first of all, there are some extra includes that are required. IOMANIP is always required when you format any floating point data, so that will be there. But there is this uh, new include required called locale. And this has to do like at which location you want the program to execute. Now you can set the locale and code is kind of interesting. We use cr.imbue. There's a function in this iostream class called imbue that sets the locale and inside we call the constructor of the locale class which is added to this header file. And the string inside is painfully enough different for each operating system. So on the Mac, I have to use case sensitive. What I'm showing here is case sensitive. En is in lower case, underscore, and us in the upper case. So, okay, I just altered it. <laughs> and that means it will tell me that, hey, when you format the money data or any other localization specific things, to the output stream set the locale to US okay now this will work in Mac but will not work in Windows in Windows for the clarity I'm gonna remove the comment and show you this will not work in Mac but in Windows yeah see as soon as we did we got the red red flag but in Windows you have to do cout.imbue and in all upper caps English underscore us. I've already tested that in Visual Studio 2012 and it does work. Okay. okay. So code will be different for Mac and Windows in that case. And then you have to set this flag called show base. After that of course you that is usual that we when we want a floating point data to be formatted to, to, to decimal place like in this case currency we have the fixed and the show point and the set precision to two. So all our flag setting is over by this line. So after that, you know the program, we have done that many times. I set the hours to 0, 0.0. So it gains the data type of double type. 0, 0.0 period gets the data of double type. Information to the user what we are going to do. Prompt and record number of hours. And I suppose I could go as far as uh, make sure they know the format. They're not afraid to use decimals. 
and same thing here a little bit better okay and then we prompt for the hourly pay rate and get the pay rate and then I declare salary to be double type here and then I do the if and else that I showed you earlier this part if hours are less than or equal to 40 I calculate the salary based on the regular pay rate but if it exceed 40 else block is executed and I have the regular salary up to 40 hours at the regular pay rate and now above 40 hours at the overtime which is one and a half times the pay rate and then I'm printing out the hours but here's the interesting point to get the money format where I have the dollar in the front and the comma separated there's a put money function that is usable and it is part of IOMNIP and that's why I need to use IOMNIP actually but it's not going to do the correct computation unless you take the pay rate or salary in dollars and multiply by 100. That means put money expects argument in cents, not in dollars. It expects argument in pennies. So we have to do that. We take the pay rate and multiply by 100 before we pass it to the put money function. And the same here. Okay, again undo keep dragging things around and then we say goodbye so let's run this program and we will uh, take the output and copy and paste that here and discuss that again and build succeeded so I'm gonna put a some large number so I can unrealistic number so that I can show you that comma separator and the dollar sign both are shown so I'll say take some outrageously large number of hours, 100.76. And also, let's say, uh, some large hourly rate, let's say 50.69. Unrealistic that may be, but I, my purpose is to show you that both comma separator and the dollar signs are shown. And this is our uh, output here. Uh, let me just go to Microsoft Word and show you in more detail what I got. Let's enlarge this. <coughs> wow. So notice that I got the dollar sign automatically. Okay, I had entered 50.69 here. I got that. But for the salary, which will be uh, an overtime of 60.76 hours, one and a half time of this rate, and the regular 40 hours at this rate, it'll come to $6,647.49. And notice I am getting the dollar sign in the front, even though it was not in the code, and the comma separator all by the courtesy of the function put money and setting up the locale that we did here okay so and there are additional examples that I've shown here and this will be available on course management system D2L this code so you can see it there so these are the steps in providing the money formatting to the output. We include the locale and IOMNIP both. We do see outdoor in view and in Mac we'll call the constructor locale of the locale class with lowercase en this string underscore uppercase us. But in Windows we'll need to do operating system specific same see out dot in view but everything in uppercase English underscore US okay so in that sense this code is not really portable and then we have to add show base fix show time and set precision do your salary calculation when you output this money data you have to multiply it by 100 because it expects that in cents in pennies 
when you pass it the put money function, which will return a string, which will have the format of the currency. Okay. So this is it. This is my presentation for C++ formatting the money output with dollar sign and comma separator. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. I highly appreciate any comments you might have. Uh, as I said before, there's no, this effort is not funded, so I'm just doing it on my own, but happy to do it because I think as long as it helps people, it's worth doing it. Thank you so much. Bye.